Be careful, Grant. Don't hit the... Don't, no! You hit the space station. It's currently not in control. And there's no power on it to stabilize it. Quick, send a rescue mission. Hello, guys. I'm Orbit, you Welsh engineer. And welcome to Kerbal Quest. Series 2, part 22. Opposite the Man Space Station. No, 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 no. It's not opposite the Man Space Station. It's opposite the Man... We're building a space station that's going to be opposite the map. Ugh. Anyway, you'll probably find out what we're going to do. Okay, the first things first, we'll launch this huge rocket. And you saw me coming in at an angle with lovely camera angles, which were probably a bit wobbly, I think, going over the footage. And that's because I've got a 3D mouse. And what was it called? You can see on my desk here. 3D connection mouse. 3D mouse, it's sort of like a joystick, but it gives you all the access. And by the way, if you want to be a Kerbal, don't forget to type Kerbal in the in your comment, clearly in Kerbal letters, as in spell it right. Otherwise, I'll miss it out and mess it up or something. And then you won't become a Kerbal. Anyway, here is the first part. This is going to be the first module of the space station. And what did I mean by opposite the man? You probably saw the space station in the beginning part. So, what we're doing here, I'm figuring out where will the man be to intercept it, because that's not where we want to go. Okay, carefully just moving, there it is. So now we roughly know where we want to boost, but we want the space station to be opposite side to the man, in the same orbit as the man, but on the opposite side. And since we know where to boost, we can roughly guess where it is going to end up, because we, if we get it wrong, we can always correct it. Right, let's update that maneuver. Get it exactly to the right height, or roughly. We can always adjust that later on as well. And yeah, you can see me doing a few maneuver changes with the maneuver node editor. But anyway, also, not only do I talk about the gameplay, I also talk about or answer your comments. Now I missed a few comments because of a couple of comments added to episode 20 minus 20 point minus one <laughs> and let's get where we left off just a gear in gaming says in space nobody can hear you vape probably not but they can see you vape <laughs> didn't think of that did you from a games met Anki Chris <laughs> Christiansen. <laughs> nice video, Orbiter. Good job. Thank you very much. Speaker edition says, Fave this comment, joking. You don't have to. I'm just making a joke about it. There's a lot of people asking today. <laughs> yeah, they do find that in a load of people's comments. So I like Fave this comment. I think it because if you put it for the uh, best comments, it goes to that top. It's sort of like a race. Especially on bigger YouTubers. You especially see it on there. And we can see I've got our orbit. However, we're not precisely opposite the man. But seeing the man over the horizon of Kirby and all sort of, I decided let's adjust the orbit so that we just have the man over the horizon. So you just see the man right next to the Kirby. So first things first, what you have to do is lower your orbit. This makes your craft go faster, so then if we go slower, the man would catch us up and go further away. So we don't want that. And to go faster, so we want to go faster so that we go a bit faster and the man gets close to curbing. So we lower our orbit so our speed is faster. And that way we catch up. It's a bit complicated because you think lowering your speed or lowering your orbit means you have to lower your speed at where you are currently. But as you drop down close to the gravity, the gravity speeds your craft up. So it's gravity is key, not speed. Well, speed is key, but gravity has more key than speed key. Got the key. <laughs> and I have no idea what I'm saying there, but there you go. The Jing the Jong says, How is life going? Good videos, as always. Hmm, thank you. Um, well, life is going great. I'm working, I'm coming home, I'm doing Kerbal videos. I'm trying to play a bit of Elite, and also I'm trying to decide what joystick to get. I want a HOTAS system. The HOTAS basically means a joystick and a thruster, but the thruster is separate, the throttle control. So I want that. So any advice on what joystick to get? I've seen the cheapest one, which was the Thrustmaster, 
Flight X Hotas joystick system. So yeah, I like the look of that one, but it's cheaper. They can get a bit more expensive ones, which is almost a hundred pound. I'm not sure what that's in dollars or euros, but there you go. Anyway, here we are. We get got the man over the horizon of Kirby. I think that's close enough. Now, in theory, well, in theory, in fact, once we get this back up into the man orbit, the same orbit as the man, for opposite sides. The man should stay the same place over curving. That's why I use Mechchev for that circularization. To get as close as possible, as precise as possible. Now all you have to do is jettison the rocket and send it on its fiery depth into the atmosphere of curving. And as we do so, Carlos Eduardo Rodriguez. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Orbita, you struggled so much. Just call me Chuck or Charlie. Thank you, that's a lot easier. Chuck, no. Ch I like Charlie, because you think of Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Um, Charlie from Peanuts, which is the dog called Snoopy on it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be Charlie. I love that name. Brings up good bo uh, childhood memories. Anyway, our gamer, can I be a cripple called Galaga? My name is Irish, even though I'm from England. The awesome stuff. Yes, you can be a Kerbal. Rob1215? He's written Kerbal? Yes. He hasn't bothered to type a comment, but never mind. You don't have to choose your name. I'll use your username as your Kerbal name, so you will be added. I'm Christian Author. What mod do you use to make the sat for the Saturn V5 part? Not V, Saturn V parts. Like the ones we got here, this is Kerbal. Uh, K. No, no, sorry. KW Rocketry mod. It adds those parts, you get the nice large engines as well. More realistic engines, some of them are as well. But they're cool. Anyway, I'm trying the camera again, trying to get close. You can see it's wobbling a bit. I think it's a bit too sensitive for the game. The reason why I'm using it because I knew it was compatible with KSP, but also I thought I could use it with uh, Elite Dangerous. Now I've seen some things, uh, programs you can use to da uh, use it with Elite Dangerous because you in Elite Dangerous not only do you have the thrusting uh, turning and everything, but also you have thrusting left, right, up, down, forward, and back, which would be awesome for combat situations. However, the joystick didn't work when I tried it. My Ship went Korean out control when I left the space dock, crashed into the space station, caused me to have fines and everything. So, yes, it <laughs> wasn't a good idea. And the mod drivers or whatever they were, <laughs> were didn't work, so I had to uninstall them. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the game. Now, you saw that part that I'm resting up. What I decided to do with this station is sort of like build mock-ups, sort of like science stations, because I'm not playing in science mode, so it's no real ideal to put any actual science stuff up here. So I built my own instead. Pretty lights on the back of that. Obviously it'll light up, but however there'll be a surprise of that lighting system. But that's going to come in the end of the video. From Vulps Fox again. Oh yeah, this is the video from video 21, <laughs> episode 21. Vulps Fox, am I first? Also, that is really good playing. Oh god, the old KRC Easter egg would be perfect for a Kerbal War. Yes, it would. I've been planning a Kerbal War. I haven't got round to doing the full installation of the mods and that yet. I have to work it out because it means save file swapping, and also I'm worried about people trying to cheat. Because we have to have sort of like gentleman's rules that uh, you don't cheat. How we're going to do that, I don't know. Anyway, let's get to docking this thing, which I will explain when we come to the end of the video. Carefully. As you can see, I'm lining up the uh, the prograde vector with the target, which we've got the docking port targeted. And luckily, it's not space station isn't too big, so that means that turns on its axis due to the magnetics of the docking port. And again, let's deorbit this thing, and let's use some clever camera angles, which are probably quite crap. <laughs> yeah, you'll see the, trying to get the view of both of them at the same time, but I didn't choose the right angle. 
Anyway, next one launching. And we're adding Kerbals in this one. Anyway, another comment from Abozlizagi. <laughs> Second, smiley face. Could you add me as an engineer Kerbal for an upcoming mission? We will do. We will do. I have to think though. I think you're on this mission actually. I think I've added all Kerbals through Aspie Kerbals from this mission and the last, uh, from the last two missions, or last two episodes of Kerbal Quest. Not all of them, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, because I'm going to be transferring over to 1.3 KSP. Hopefully everything's fixed in it and the mods are now updated. I haven't checked yet, so we might revert back to this one. A lovely camera. I'm happy with that one. It's a bit wobbly, but it was pretty good. Getting better with the camera joystick. Oh, and another lovely comment from Ak. A croft flock venza. Ah, you already you already almost killed a precious sapphire. Yeah, I almost kill I killed her actually in the last episode. But I respawned her. Don't tell her. <laughs> Either way, how dare you crash my plane? I spent a while designing that. Well, at least they found the lost radar dish of ancient Kerbum tabs. But hey, guess I have a job now in designing things for you. Though it looks like I need to focus on making them all survive and crash. <laughs> La Welp, you love ya. <laughs> yes. I think you the poor design was that you didn't kick. You didn't count me in that design, did you? I'm an awesome engineer. For I'm a poor substitute for a pilot. As you can see as we crashed into the space station trying to dock with it. I was wondering why the space station was rotating out of control found out that there's no power in it, there's no solar panels. So I come up with a great idea. Roman Kerman, he's gonna come up on the mission. Grab a solar panel. Uh, take a selfie. Come on, Roman Kerman, you've got a job to do. You can't stop and take selfies. Yeah, I might use that as the thumbnail out to control space station. Ooh, come on, quick, attach. Yeah, I'm sorry about the junky music. I saw like edited it, or cut it up, and I think I messed up on that front. But never mind. At least it's Kerbal music. And well done, Roman Kerman. You got it all in one. Now let's get back to the rocket, which is slowly going out of control because it's on Smart SAS. I finally get that solar panel in the sun. It charges up enough that we can control it. And then we dock it. I'm keeping the solar panel in the sun, otherwise we will lose control of that thing. And once down, we can rotate the space station into its correct position, because we have solar panels and ample alerts of them. However, another design flaw is I forgot to put a decoupler on this part, or at least a docking port. The idea was that the fuel tank to the right was supposed to be a telescope, but I was going to say something like, oh, they put the mirror in the wrong way round. And that's because the tank, the top of the tank is sort of curved. It's supposed to show that there's a tank holding fuel, but I've emptied all the fuel out and I'm saying that it's the wrong way round. It's, you know, they put the mirror in on the wrong end. <laughs> like the Hubble disaster, I suppose, but not this one's worse. It's more Kerbal disaster. Anyway, safe. Say faster day. <laughs> well, will you? When will you visit the stars? Unfortunately, we haven't got a star mod installed on this version now. I had to uninstall it because it was terrible. And Roman Kerbin now. Oh no, I think I can't remember who Ker which Kerbal was this. He was narrowly missed by the rocket though. That's a cool shot. Anyway, let's get the Kerbal back inside and launch the next one. It looks a bit weird, but it has a purpose. This is actually the probably the most functioning part of the space station. It's got docking ports. It's a docking port thing you can have. You can dock three ships to it, and it's sort of like spaced out so they don't crash into it. Should have angled them down a bit more, but never mind. It's okay as it is. Anyway, Yuval 88 Fish. Could you add a Kerbal named Yuval? Yes, and you'll see him shortly. Grand Gaming, TY YouTube says Kerbal in weird shaped 
uh, different sh sized letters. <laughs> With lots of caps locks on and caps locks off. Yes, you can. Roman still? Can I? Kerbal. Roman Kerbal. Yes, you can. Mr. Carrot, is Einstein Kerbal added? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, yes, here we are. This is what the ring is. It's supposed to be um, simulating a, oh, what do you call it, a particle accelerator in space. Yeah, and I was pressing the number keys, which I've set all the lights to switch off and on, depending on which number key I press. I was sort of like flipping my finger. You can see I missed it, messed it up now and again. <laughs> but I thought that would be cool. And they were all supposed to be red. But unfortunately, they only light the surface they hit red. Anyway, one more comment. Finny Oinks, Kerbal, gotcha. Haha, <laughs> I know you haven't. I'll be adding you. Anyway, Grant Gaming YouTube is there. Is on this mission. You can see he's down the bomb. And who have we got here? We've got Roman Kerman. Yeah, I told you I've added you, Kerbals. I think there's only a few I haven't added now. I'll have to go back through my list. I've got an Excel spreadsheet. And with the opposite Mun Space Station has been completed by these awesome Kerbals. And I've got to quick save while I was getting out on EVA. Rob1215. Hopefully, I won't need to go back to the save, otherwise, I'll have to rescue all those Kerbals. And then Finny Oinks. Haha, <laughs> I would. I added you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got ya. Yeah, I added you, Kerbal. Again, I think. Didn't I add you before? I'm not sure. Anyway, I will have to. I bought. <laughs> I can't say the name. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, I bought. Zilagi? <laughs> Kerman? Oh well, that'll do. And you val, Kerman. You val be a Kerbal. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. Anyway, guys, give me ideas what we're going to do in the next episode. Something simple that's not going to take too much of my time. Because I'm... Oh, Gavin, Gavin, Kerman. <laughs> I'm not sure if you wanted your name said twice on that. But you added it in comments, so I added it as the name of the Kerbal. So yeah, ideas, what should we do next? Something simple... Something perhaps like landing on the man or something, I don't know. Go land on a planet. Not launching from Eve, I haven't mastered that. That'll take too long to engineer anyway. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what should we do? What? What shenanigans should we get up to? And I'm gonna add the Kerbals, perhaps from this comment in the next episode, because I'm out to Kerbals at the moment. Or I'll have to pick some old Kerbals out. Hmm. Since I'm going in 1.3 save. Anyway, our gamer, what are your ideas? As you float in space, away from the station. And why won't you take your helmet off? I always try that. <laughs> See if they take your helmet off in space. And we have Kerbals with their fidget spinners again. Why can't we escape this? Obviously, I know what's wrong. He's got uh, stuff in his inventory. Yeah, he's got two lights in his inventory. So obviously, that's causing a problem. <laughs> but at least he's enjoying himself. Grand Gaming, you too. And who else have we got? Spinning, yes. Anyway, let's get up a picture. Because I think we may want that as a thumbnail picture. Anyway, if you want to be added as a Kerbal, don't forget to write Kerbal in Kerbal letters. As in spell it right, otherwise I'll miss you. And I won't find your comment. And if you like this video, crank that like button. Crank that like button for an awesome selfie like this Kerbal by Hero in space. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm more beta. Trust me, I'm an engineer of space stations. Bye.